Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. All right, I am filming this New Year's Eve night. It is approximately uh, 7.30. It's about 7.28 right now. And I have been meaning to start kind of showing you a little bit about my routine. I, I guess you could say it's a routine. I mean, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, so... Uh, and I'm just I'm getting better at it as I'm learning more and more about cooking and learning about food in general, right? And I wanted to kind of just I'm going to go through my kitchen here with you all and uh, just kind of show you what what is going on here because I have a lot of different components that are happening here and a lot of different ingredients and a lot of different things I'm learning about too as my palate is absolutely changing as I'm forcing it because I, I did good actually I did really good before all the cancer uh, reoccurrence happening again. Yeah. And with that said, I'm just, I've decided to really kind of take it to the next level. I'm doing a lot of greens. I'm doing a lot of juicing. I'm doing a lot of different, different aspects to this. A lot more salads, but just hearty, crazy nutrition stuff. So yeah, you know, I'm going to go through a lot of different things here and just kind of show you what, what is going on. Cause there's, there's kind of a lot happening here, which is really cool. So, where to start? Let's, um, I think the first thing that's super important that you have to realize is your water and your water source. So, it's been, it's been something that I've really wanted for a while, and that's a good water filter. And the reason is, is living here in Breckenridge, um, municipal water comes... It, I mean, fortunately, we're, we are at the absolute top of the water table, right? I mean, I live seven miles away from the top of the Continental Divide in Colorado. So with that said, this is where the water starts. So something to kind of think about too, right? Water still needs to be treated. So with that, you know, you still need to kind of filter it. You know, our water is actually really pretty good coming from Breckenridge. Uh, the Breckenridge area, the Bre Breckenridge water is really pretty good. But I know that they add fluoride, and that's been a big issue of mine for a long time. So I did something about it. And we recently got a Big Berkey water uh, filter here. And let me tell you what, this, this thing's amazing. Um, this is a two-gallon Berkey, and it does, it takes fluoride out. Uh, the filters that they have, they take fluoride out. And this thing, you can actually, like, like fill it with like lake water or if you go camping or whatever you can take that thing with you and use it as a as as your water source so you can just use river water or whatever and the charcoal filters in here are amazing and the the fluoride filters the water the water is amazing so i'm i'm it's pretty cool to start to be using this and when we I, we've had this for a couple weeks now seriously i seriously wish i could have had this years ago we, as a family, drink approximately three, I mean, we've been drinking a lot of water, so anywhere between three and four gallons a day. We drink a lot of water up here because it's so dry and so arid, so, yeah, so, you know, we're just kind of, I'm kind of working through it. Got a juicer. Uh, we juice everything uh, in the fridge weekly, trying to do that a lot more, especially since I've been getting a lot more greens and a lot more uh, different greens that I never really thought I would like, which is pretty cool. So there's all that. Um, obviously, cooktop, getting ready to make some tacos for tonight. That should be good. Um, up here in this cabinet is our baking and my teas. I drink a lot of tea because I've never, ever really liked coffee. And so I got all sorts of matcha and antioxidant stuff and green teas i like black teas preferably i sweeten with stevia and just trying to really cut out that that sugar intake you know what i mean so uh, this is my wife's coffee spot i don't touch this i don't like coffee <laughs> up top here uh, olive oils cereals a lot of different like oatmeals and uh, whole fiber a lot of fiber <laughs> that's yeah exactly uh, freezer keep just you know some kind of quick meals for my wife and and some breakfast burritos and just meats and whatever some stuff because i do work on feeding a family of four that doesn't necessarily have the same taste as i do so the fridge uh lots of salsas uh, onions 
we do have a lot of dairy but and juices because i like the juices in uh, smoothies and whatever um lots of fruit some leftovers some big greens sausage lots of greens chicken some cheeses and stuff some some breads and a big thing of veggies over here so all this stuff um all this stuff we yeah we rifle through it pretty often especially with a family of four um obviously all your condiments and stuff a lot of garlics mayo uh teriyaki sauce you know stir fry sauce because i have a rice cooker so that thing works good and then obviously knives uh, blenders we you know we keep a lot of stuff on our countertop because there's a lot of stuff that we're always using you know this cachava superfood is a is is probably one of the most densely packed nutritional smoothie mixes and i don't even want to call it a protein powder it's like it's it's more than that stuff is amazing um dog food stuff more tea stuff yeah uh greens lots of greens collagen proteins plant proteins i mean you know got got some sweet potatoes some onions and uh, you know so we we carry a lot of different stuff right we carry just i i go to the store enough to make sure that things are always stocked or things that i think i want to eat and, and then and then try stuff too you know trying to make some new things here and there and and just trying to really open my palate up to different veggies and whatever and and not that i've never liked veggies i just yeah you know i i've always eaten a lot of veggies but i'm trying to just broaden the spectrum out a little bit so this is my kitchen man so yeah you know um on top of all this aside you know uh, uh, showing you the kitchen and showing you what we got going on today um and you know like i said we are f i'm filming this on new year's eve uh, 2019 and yeah this is um <laughs> I, I wanted to do this for a, a little bit to show you guys kind of what i do and i make all sorts of different stuff i like to experiment a lot i I have no clue what the heck I'm doing, especially in the kitchen, but you know what? I, I have a lot of fun doing it and it's, it entices my family to do, to, to eat better. Also, fortunately, one of my daughters is, is super interest, super into it also. So we have a fun time doing it together and, and it, you know, I'm hoping to influence my, my wife and, and my other daughter also, because, you know, they, they see it and it's, it's a hard transition for them too, you know, so even as a, caregiver you know the the transition to a healthier lifestyle is it's a t it's a tough road so you know for for those of you out there that are going through it or you may see this video and pass it on you know by all means you know this is this isn't easy you know but you know at this point you know i'm doing what i can to make sure that i don't have regret if this continues to happen and uh, you know, if I end up having another recurrence down the road, which I feel good that I don't, I'm doing everything I can. And, and that's, that's, what's awesome. So awesome guys. Um, thank you for joining me in my home on new year's evening. Um, I'll probably put this out in the morning and, or maybe even tonight. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, um, as it gets later, but, uh, going to make dinner. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please hit me in the uh, comments and questions, uh, comment section below yeah and you know i just want to say thank you very much for your time and energy and watching the videos because i really do appreciate and i really do enjoy doing this for you guys so have a great new year's uh celebration and here's to looking forward to 2020 being the best year ever